Welcome to the 2016 Lucas Oil NCHA Super Stakes. The big final tonight, the Open Classic, and the winner was Morgan Cromer on Made of Metal with a 2.23. Congratulations, Thank Morgan. You. How does it feel? Amazing. Oh. This is I mean, this is your first major win in the Will Rogers. Yes. You seem very emotional when it's set in. Yeah, it, it is. It's um, it's unbelievable. I mean, I, you know, I've been coming here since I was a kid. You know, and and uh, so to be able to win one is pretty amazing. So you made you had three make it to the final. Uh, how did that feel coming into it? What was your preparation? Um, it, ju it just made me feel confident. You know, made me feel confident that I was doing the right thing. You know, I was working them the right way, and and um, and that I had them on target. And they just, you know, they felt great last week when I showed them at home or two weeks ago. Um, and they all made the finals out there. So I knew, you know what I mean. I just knew they were on target, and I felt confident coming down here. And that's that's a big part of it. Did you have a feeling it was going to be made of metal, that was going to be your top horse? Well, she, uh, Andrew Coates has been helping me all week out there, and he's staying out there, and he said, uh, he said, I think this is made of metal's week, so he called it. <laughs> so you came out second, and you had to sit through two herds. You had a really good lead right up until the third last out horse, John Mitchell on CR Tough Lucy, who was swooping up a storm. How were you feeling at that moment? Um, well, you know, I just kept telling myself that I, I was happy with whatever happened. I mean, it, you know, it's, it's one of those things where you can never be disappointed with being second, but you know, I, uh, I always just try to not be, um, overly happy until it's all the way done. But, you know, I mean, we all know that's such a great mare and, you know, and he's phenomenal. So it's like, you, you know, you feel if you're second to somebody like that, it's, it's, it's really great too, especially here, you know? Yeah. It must've been the longest two herds of your life. It was. It, luckily I had another one to show in this herd, so I, I kind of had to focus, but then after that I was a mess. Yeah. They were making videos over there of me, you know, like trying to tear the fence down. <laughs> <laughs> so take us through your run, cow by cow. Um, the first cow, um, I actually wanted to cut another cow that walked off over into the herd, and, and that cow that we liked just walked out and, and got started. Um, and like I said about that mare, she can be a little wild off the start. So, you know, as soon as she started right, I was more confident to use her, you know. And and, um, and then the second cow uh, was a white cow that we really, really liked all along, and it just happened to be theirs. You know, it's one of those things that usually when it's going to work, those cows kind of walk to the top. And, and that white cow was really good, and it tested her, but in a good way. You know, it made her get smaller smart and it made her it made her get you know really really hitting the ground and then um that third cow was just an option cow we knew it but we it was just a black cow that we needed to finish on and and um she felt a little tired there at the end but uh she never quit trying you know she I kept kicking her a little harder because she was she was kind of getting tired but she really really tried so she's now just with this win uh, made over a hundred thousand I think I think so too yeah that's awesome and uh, you've had this horse pretty much the whole way through? All the way through. I traded for her as a yearling. So does that make it more special? Yeah, yeah, it does, especially when I, I've been telling, you know, I've been telling the lady that owns her, Judy, I've been like, this is, she's good. I just need, you know, and like I said, she's had a few little issues here and there, and so we haven't been consistent on her, and now I've been consistent, and she feels great. Okay, now for your success, you, I think, made over 260000 last year. Just in this three months, you've now hit over 160000 Is this going to be the year of Morgan? I hope so. <laughs> I hope it is. But, no, it feels great. And, and uh, you know, it just, I think it's one of those things, and everybody knows when you get on, you know, when you get on a roll and you're confident and you're working your horses good, it just, you know, it just you got to keep rolling with it because it, it'll change, but you just got to go with it when you got it, you know? I do know there's going to be some Californians partying tonight because we put up a Facebook post uh, when you made the three horses uh, to, to the final and the response was absolutely overwhelming. You've got a real um, support out there. Oh yeah, for sure. They're great and, and I wouldn't change that for the world. I love it out there and it's my home and um, you know, I mean the Pacific Coast is is so awesome. They all support each other and, and, um, and that's what I love. I mean I've gotten more text messages and everything from, you know, from out there. It's been great. Well congratulations on a job well done. Thank you very much. Thank you.